literally all the time doing everything I could to look good for other people. How many of you realize that the one thing that all of you crave more than anything is what's called validation? How many of you realize that? Right? Validation is somebody telling you that you're good enough, that you're smart enough, that you're good looking enough, that you're trim and fit enough, that you are skilled enough, or that you're this enough or that enough, right? And when you start allowing people's opinions to get inside of who you are, and you start living out to, to make sure that you get approval from other people, you wind up struggling a whole lot more because the only time you really struggle is when you resist, okay? The only time you really struggle is when you resist. How many of you understand that, right? Instead of fighting, instead of fighting against things that you have no control over, just let it go. Just release it, right? I always say that the true strength of life is not about holding on, but letting go, right? And in our home, we say, let go and let God, right? Let go and let God. And the more we let go, the more we release this need for power and control, the more we release that need for approval by other people, the more that, that we release that need for showing up uh, in an image, right, that we think we look best in, when we let go of that, that's when we become who we were really meant to be. And that is really what you're all here for, right? Isn't that true? Isn't that, isn't that what you came here for, is to be able to feel self-inspired and to realize for the very first time, some of you, that you can do this? How many of you realize that you can do this? See, those, those words, I can do this, those, are the, those words are the mother of all action, right? Because you wouldn't go on a diet if you didn't think you could lose at least one pound, right? If you see that you have an opportunity to be successful, that is enough inspiration for you to make a choice to be a part of something and a choice to take action and actually do what you came here to do. How many of you are going to finish what you started this time? So those words, I can do that, the mother of all action, right? And that's the key, is to get into action. Because 98, 99, even for some of you, 100% commissions. <laughs> cool, right? Who else can say 100% commissions? <laughs> uh, but 100, some of you, 100% of your questions, right? How many of you still have questions? Raise your hand if you still have questions. You didn't get your questions answered about anything. Right? Do we always have, like, raise your hands high. Be proud if you have, still have questions. Right? Do we, have, do we still have questions? 100K a month per earners, right? We, we still have questions, right? But here's, here's the answer. Some of you, 98, 99, 100% of the answers, right? The solutions for you are going to come by doing, by taking the action. Instead of wondering, you know, and, and thinking that your sponsor or your leader or your upline has the answers and they're not telling you what they know, instead of infuriating yourself, meaning instead of positioning yourself in a position of powerlessness, instead of allowing you to give yourself or your power away to this situation that you think is going on, that you created a story around, that I'm not getting from my sponsor what I know I should. How many of you have had some some personal issues thinking that it's your sponsor's fault that you're not successful yet. Right? right? It's a victim mentality. Right? When you look at it from the place of gratitude and appreciation, right? And you think, wow, if it wasn't for my sponsor, I probably wouldn't even be here today. Right? enough to place an ad or 
write an email, or make a blog post, or upload a video, or do an article, or a press release, or do some kind of social media, whether it was a tweet, or a pin on Pinterest, or some kind of photo on Instagram, or a social media post, or whatever, it doesn't matter, whatever. If you found your sponsor, if you found them anywhere, they are already successful in this business. It doesn't matter whether or not you make money or they make less money than you. If they did something that attracted you to them, they are doing well. So instead of having resentment towards the person who introduced you to this culture and this community, right? Be thankful, be appreciative. And when you come from this place of gratitude, you're going to be sending a message out, not just to them, but to everyone and everything around you, that you appreciate the fact that they're in your world, and it's almost like success begets success. You're going to create a world of abundance and prosperity much faster than you ever thought was possible. So be thankful and appreciative for the people who are there for you when you get born in this business. So real important. And when I learned that, when I learned, when I learned that, it changed my entire life. It changed my world. Instead of looking for all the reasons that I should be angry and blameful and pointing fingers and not really embracing uh, the people who brought me into this world, Right? And that includes my parents, it includes the world of home business and network marketing. I have the utmost respect for the people who I learned about this industry from in the very first place. And that has made all the difference for me. So, I just wanted to make sure that we got that out. Now, I haven't even started yet, and they, they, they show me that I only have like 10 or 11 minutes left. So, can we reset the clock for a little while? <laughs> Maybe we have like another 30 minutes or something. I'm sure Dave would wouldn't mind. Uh, run ads and, and create traffic and leads. Sure, that's a byproduct of you being able to actually house that skill set. But 98% of your skill set, my friends, comes from your mindset. 98% of your skill set comes from your mindset. When you say those words, I can do this, then the only thing stopping you from getting what you want is your story. Right? That little story that you tell yourself about why you shouldn't, couldn't, or wouldn't be able to achieve the outcome that you came here for. And when you change your story, you're going to change your life. And your story are things like, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough time, I'm not good enough, I don't have the skills. Why would a guy like me be able to be successful in this? Right? Now again, I fell on my ass here before I got up on stage, and it was a very humbling experience for me. Not because somebody saw me fall, but because I realized that sometimes you gotta hit rock bottom. It's like a bouncing ball. It has to hit the pavement before it comes back up. And sometimes, you know, I always say that the top is the start of a higher climb, but sometimes we have to be humbled just a little bit to feel what we don't want to experience ever again. And I can tell you that without going inward and without really answering questions that I had about myself, who I was, why I'm here, what's my purpose in life's meeting on this earth, until I got those questions clear, it didn't matter what was inside the 15K formula, right? It didn't matter what was in the master's course. It doesn't matter what's going on at the events. Because when you get yourself right, you get yourself right. When you get yourself right, everything else just seems to fall magically into place, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You've all heard the term, don't preach to the choir. Have you heard that? Right? Let me tell you a little secret. You guys want to make a lot of money in this business? <laughs> Preach to the damn choir. <laughs> because they're already believers. How many of you guys are believers? Yeah. This is why I preach. This is why I preach. The people that are not in the room, the people that are not in the room, they may not even know about the message yet. Right? And then there are some people that are in the room 
maybe not this room, but all the other network marketing rooms I've been in, that maybe they come in the room and they're a little bit unsure because they haven't yet experienced that personal momentum yet. But I can tell you this, you want to preach to the choir. You want to find the people who are already looking for what you have to offer. Okay? Now, I had a lot of people come up to me over the last two days and they've asked questions like, how do you sell the products? How do you upsell people? How do you upgrade the people, right? We were having this conversation last night. How can I increase my conversion percentage? And I'm here to tell you something. We have some of the best products that ever hit the networking industry, right, Chris Record? Right? We have some of the best products. But see, your product is not really your product. Your real product is people. Now, I'm not talking about like slave trading and shit like that. <laughs> I'm talking about people and what drives them, right, to be successful, right? So I'll say it again. Your, your product is not really your product. Your real product is people. Say it with me. Your product is it's not your product. product. Your real product, product is people. people, right? And when you learn more about people, then you learn about the products that we market, then you will be able to market the real product that people are looking to buy. And what people are looking to buy is change. Okay? How many of you realize that what people are looking to buy right now is change? Right? Say I. Okay. Because most everybody that's in our market, the choir, Right, is looking for someone to preach to them. And your mission, your objective is to find and attract those people who are seeking change. Now it doesn't matter if they're seeking to go from a few thousand dollar a month corporate job income to a few thousand dollars a month in home-based business income because they want to fire their boss, right? Or they want to quit their job and they want to come home and be with their kids. Right? Some of you, that was your very first reason for getting into home business, right? And then some of you wanted to maybe chip away at some personal debt, pay off some bills, right? And maybe get a little bit of financial breathing room, right? That was possibly your reason for change. You wanted to get some of the, the finances out of the way. Some of you wanted to maybe, you know, start a new business because you already worked from home, but you wanted one that was actually more... Uh, you know, higher chance of success for you. You have a better opportunity to be successful in a company like Empower Network than you did from, say, a previous type of network marketing company with maybe a different commission model and maybe a different product line and a different culture and a different community and different tools and systems and different leaders and different trainings and different events, right? Do we not have the most badass company in the industry right now? Everybody's reason for wanting change is different, but it's your work, your work.